It's June 29th, 2021, and this is Sketchworks News Break. The news stops here. I'm Brian Troxell. A United Nations report showed that more than 8,000 children were used as soldiers in 2020. Their parents say, sure, it's a little violent, but it is so much cheaper than daycare. North Koreans are worried that leader Kim Jong-un is looking emaciated. And North Koreans like their leaders fluffy. Those North Koreans and their families who voiced their concerns have now all disappeared. Great leader Kim looks fantastic. So does great leader President Biden. Thursday, America's worst governor, Andrew Cuomo, signed the Gender Recognition Act into law in New York State. The law is intended to help Cuomo better identify the female gender so that he can sexually harass them. Speaking of idiots from New York, Rudy Giuliani can no longer practice law in the state. A court suspended his law license because Giuliani keeps claiming the 2020 election was rigged against Donald Trump. At least he can get a job at one of those restaurants that have the signs whining about how no one wants to work anymore. In the same week, the FDA put a heart inflammation warning on the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, Johnson & Johnson was fined $230 million for its role in the opioid epidemic. But don't let that scare you from getting vaccinated, because remember the benefits. Free donuts at Krispy Kreme. After the fine was levied, J&J announced they would end the sale of all opioids nationwide which means I need to contact my supplier to stock up. To attend a Pride event in Seattle, white people were charged a $50 reparations fee. But if you sign up for the new Pride credit card, you can check your first bag of white people free. On May 4th, President Biden set a goal of 70% U.S. vaccinations by July 4th. As that date rapidly approaches, it is clear that number will not be met. Biden's response, I had extra ice cream today. I can't say that because my staff might get mad at me, especially that nurse that insists she's the vice president. Come on, man. A federal government report reveals 143 of 144 UFO sightings by the military cannot be explained. The 144th turned out to be something even more mind boggling than a UFO. It was a Spirit Airlines flight with 100% satisfied passengers. Friday, a man jumped from a moving plane at Los Angeles Airport. The man is a pilot. The plane was Spirit. Staying in the air, Southwest Airlines plans to raise the minimum wage of its employees to $15 an hour. And Spirit plans to charge employees $15 every time they use the restroom. This now completes our Spirit Airlines comedy rule of three. A girl at Disney World was forced to wear a gift shop t-shirt because her clothes were too revealing. Per company policy, no cleavage is allowed, unless you're a 16-year-old mermaid. Online payment company Venmo started the week by randomly giving out $100,000 to people on social media. Sketchworks Newsbreak correspondent Tim Millard jumped into action the moment he heard the phrase, free money. It's actually really simple. All you needed to do was follow Venmo on social media and have a Venmo account. You could get up to $500, no strings attached. So let's see how I did. Nothing. Not a damn thing. It's okay though, I'm used to not getting paid for my work. Just ask Brian. Brian, how many episodes of Newsbreak have I been in? When are you going to pay me? I'm serious, when are you going to pay me? Thank you, Tim. I don't usually watch Tim's reports until I'm editing the episode together, so I cannot wait to see what he just talked about. And now, news from space! <coughs> News from space. For NASA's upcoming moon mission, they will have mannequins on board instead of humans. 
NASA is using mannequins to measure radiation and vibrations. And if you ask me, this is the perfect opportunity to revive the mannequin movie franchise. Think of it. Mannequin 3, Zero Gravity Dummy, starring Brian Troxell and Amanda Bynes, let's say. And she's due for a comeback, right? The Chandra X-ray Observatory in Cambridge, Massachusetts captured an image of a large ghostly hand pressing against an orange glowing cloud some 17,000 light years from Earth. Astronomers and top scientists all concurred that what we are witnessing is the hand of Thanos. Al Gore announced this week, apparently from space, that to help spread his climate change message to a larger audience, he is transitioning to George Hamilton. The Pacific Northwest is burning up in a very rare and alarming heat wave. Temperatures in places like Seattle and Portland have passed 100 degrees. It's getting so hot, anti-government protesters are now trying to freeze dumpsters instead of setting them on fire. They're also calling to defund the sun. California's attorney general banned non-essential state government trips to five states with laws that discriminate against LGBTQ people, Florida, Montana, West Virginia, North Dakota, and Arkansas. Lawmakers in those five states considered retaliating by banning travel to California until they realized nobody can afford to go to California anymore. California has now banned travel to 17 states with the addition of these latest five. Only 32 more to go and we don't have to see any more Californians ever again. We can do this. Moving from an annoying state to an annoying wannabe state, the Senate will hold hearings to discuss Washington DC statehood. Supporters say no taxation without representation, whereas opponents say 51 nifty one United States doesn't have the same ring to it. Spinal Tap fans have something else that goes to 11. Microsoft will release Windows 11 by the end of this year. New features include improved video conferencing, the ability to run Android apps, and error messages that come in more colors than just blue. The president of the Philippines threatened to jail anyone refusing to take the COVID-19 vaccine. This marks the first time in history someone will be jailed for not taking drugs. A man dressed up as Spider-Man gave Pope Francis one of his masks during a visit to the Vatican. The Pope now plans to canonize Marvel founder Stan Lee as the patron saint of comics and other blatant merchandising. Rome's Colosseum has opened its underground for the first time in its 2,000 year history. Inside were so many boxes of Christmas decorations. This week's episode of Sketchworks Newsbreak, our 69th, <laughs> 69, is sponsored by Sketchworks Comedy. we don't have a new commercial this week. Televangelist Jim Baker was ordered to pay $156,000 for selling a product which he falsely claimed cures COVID. Now this was obviously a scam for money because, as we all know, the only cure for COVID is becoming a Sketchworks Patreon. For as little as $3 a month, you can receive perks like discounts on classes and tickets to upcoming shows. Shows like Heels Up, an all-female sketch comedy show running August 13th through August 28th at the Village Theater in Atlanta. Tickets available at sketchworkscomedy.com. There.
That counts as a new commercial. DNA tests commissioned by the New York Times found no traces of tuna in Subway's tuna subs. DNA tests commissioned by Mari Povich also show the tuna subs are not the father. James and Chloe Lusted from North Wales have claimed the Guinness World Record for having the biggest height difference between a married couple, nearly a two-foot difference. The couple met when Chloe was in college and she swept James off his feet. And now another heartwarming story. On Thanksgiving Day 2018, Vermont resident Sean Smith threw a message in a bottle which contained his email address into the Atlantic off the Rhode Island coast. Nearly three years and over 2,000 miles later, Sean received a return message from a teen in Portugal which he didn't understand because it's written in Portuguese. A woman in South Africa who claimed she was pregnant with 10 babies made the whole thing up. Turns out she just really likes Doritos. Research by the University of Pittsburgh's School of Medicine found sales of erectile dysfunction drugs boomed during 2020. Sales since then have been flaccid. In Orange Beach, Alabama, several teenagers were arrested for pouring alcohol on a nesting sea turtle. The teens were charged with underage possession of alcohol and contributing to the delinquency of a reptile. On the plus side, the booze cured the turtle's ereptile dysfunction. Courtney Olson, a Nevada bodybuilder, earned a world record for crushing three watermelons in seven and a half minutes with her thighs. Sketchworks Newsbreak has reached out to Ms. Olson to ask if she would marry me. So far, there's been no response. Just like all my other marriage proposals. Oh, well. That's all for Sketchworks Newsbreak. We'll be back next week, and we hope you are too. I'm Brian Troxell. Say hi to your mom for me. Oh, ask her how many watermelons she can crush with her thighs. I got them $1.9 trillion relief so far. They're going to be getting checks in the mail that are consequential this week for child care. A lot has been happened already, number one. Number two, I'm going to fight like heck.